Beloved in Christ, I welcome you to the liturgy for the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Yeshi. And today, I reflect with you on the theme, This Hope Justifies Faith. For this morning, Mother Church invites us to reflect on the day of the Lord and how the day of the Lord will be for us. She does confront us with the last four things. Namely, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. By urging us to be watchful of what is to come. Consequently, Malachi the prophet says to us, The day of the Lord will be a day of judgment and a day of salvation. He does present to us two pictures to emphasize this point. Namely, one, the faith of the evildoer, and two, the triumph of the righteous who will endure to the end. Beloved, Malachi the prophet gave the warning at a time when Israel had become religiously insensitive. They had lost the sense of the sacred and no longer fulfilled their religious obligations, for they thought God was no longer interested in what they did, let alone keep a record of it. Malachi therefore reminded them that God will come to reward and punish them based on their deeds. Beloved in Christ, the world today is no different from the world of the prophet Malachi. For today, there are some people who see themselves as the end of morality. Religion, they say, has no role in the life of man. They see going to church, they see worship, they see fellowship as a waste of time. For them, God lives in the hearts of every man. Also, there is another group of people who also hold that the church is everything and that what matters to them is what they do in the church and not outside the church. To this group, most of Christians today belong. This is manifested in what they do outside the church. For Jesus, it is not the church as a building that matters, but what we learn in the church, which will be reflected in how we live our lives as Christians. Beloved, the gospel also warns us not to be perturbed by cosmos upheavals, but to be encouraged by the fact that the day of the Lord will be a day of judgment for the world. Hence, for the second reading, while we wait for the day of the Lord, we are not to be lazy, but to work to earn the bread we eat and not become burdens to others. In this regard, we can joyfully say that this hope that the Lord will come to judge, reward and punish justifies our faith in God, for which reason we live in the present without ignoring its consequence to endure everything on account of our faith in God. As we go through our lives today, let us be motivated that the day of the Lord will be a day of salvation. The day of the Lord will be a day of judgment. May he bless us all. Amen. Second day, total,